installing Java. First of all, you're going to need to go to the internet and download the most recent version of Java. That is located at java.sun.com. And I think I've got this on the Blackboard website, the link to this. If not, I'll make sure it's there. Once you're on Sun's website, you can click on Downloads, and you're going to want to download the Java SE, which is the Java Standard Edition. So I clicked on download. There is Java SE. We'll click on that. Now when it pops over there, you're going to see all kinds of options. Java SE downloads and uh, NetBeans 5.0 and EE and all this other stuff. We're going to make it real simple. Since everybody hopefully is viewing this demonstration within a week or so of my demonstrating it, nothing should change. All you need to do is download the JDK 5.0 update 8. Okay? It's about 40 meg. So it is fairly decent sized. If you're on a dial-up, do it from the university and put it on a jump drive or an ex external hard drive. Um, otherwise, uh, even on a DSL, it takes about 20 minutes to, for it to download. So do get that. Make sure you get the JDK. And the difference between these, well obviously here's update 7 and update 6. Well, let's go with the most recent update. It's got bug fixes that the other twos don't. NetBeans is what's referred to as an IDE, an Integrated Development Environment. We're not using NetBeans in this class. We're using a different IDE, and I'll show that to you in just a second. But do make sure you get the JDK 5.0 Update 8, okay? And that'll give you all the runtime stuff, the command line development tools, everything you need. Once you download it, installed on your system, you should be ready to go with getting it started. A cool thing about Java is you can create Java code with Notepad. Any text editor, you can create a Java program. You do not have to go out and spend a lot of money on buying Visual Studio or uh, Borland's Java Developer, um, what, what is it, JBuilder. You don't have to spend any money to do Java development, which is why a lot of people really, 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 really like Java. I think that's one of the reasons why a lot of universities have changed over to Java as their introductory language. They don't have to send a, a check to anybody. They just download it from Sun, and Sun has is in the process of making Java completely open source, which means it is going to be a 100% open source development programming language just like Linux, which comes down to the fact it's one of the first languages to be completely like that. There are a couple other scripting languages that are already that way, but this will be the first time we've got a true full-powered programming language that is going to be completely open source. Okay, IDEs. You're going to download Update 8, click on Download. Uh, when you go to it, I better show you this because it can be a little bit confusing if you if you're not used to navigating these things. You got to say yes, yes. You're going to accept the licensing agreement. You promise not to sell it. Stuff like that. Oh, it's 50 meg. Sorry, it's not 40. Click on the Windows offline installation if you're downloading it here and taking it home and installing it. If, however, you've got a fast connection and you're doing it from home you can do the online Windows installation. The size of that is about 33 meg instead of 50 meg. The IDEs, as I said, stands for an Integrated Development Environment. We are going to use a open source IDE. It's called Eclipse. And you can go to eclipse.org and download this. It is much larger than Java. It is 120 meg in the most recent version. Every time they put out a new version of it, it gets bigger. When I started teaching Java three, four years ago, this was like a 20 meg download, 30 meg download. Then it was a 50. Then it was a 75. Then it was a 90. It's now a whopping 120 meg for the download. 
to download your Eclipse, go to Downloads, and you can just simply tell it to download the Eclipse SDK 3.2. Like I said, 128 meg or 120 meg. You don't need to download the bundles from the members. Just get the Eclipse SDK. SDK sounds, stands for Software Development Kit. JDK stands for Java Developers Kit. And you'll get used to seeing these letters and, and knowing what they mean. So download the job, the Eclipse SDK 3.2. I think I've only got one three. Okay, I'll go ahead and download it then because apparently I need to install it. Um, get this started while I continue my discussion. I'll just save it to desktop. There we go. Okay.